Greetings! I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. And I'm here with Elo, showing off his ship, the Huntsman, right? Yes. All right. Yeah, this is a this is a nice looking ship. We haven't spent a whole lot of time just kind of looking before the video, but um, but what I've seen so far, I really like. So it um, we're standing on top of the bridge, which has this really cool, like. It's like stuck up above the rest of the ship, and to give it—is that to give it more visibility, or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is also kind of a death trap, so if you get a good shot to the center of that uh, pillar going up to the bridge, you know. Obviously. Yeah, that would be a little bit dangerous, <laughs> I think. <laughs> but it but looks so nice. I think what I've kind of designed this for—I've spent a lot of time. Um, making a lot of ships off of spiders. So I have a Black Widow. I have a Recluse. Oh, um, this is okay. a Huntsman. There's um, a spider called is... a Huntsman? I didn't even know that. Yeah, I had to actually look it up. Oh. Um, but the point of this one, as you'll see later, is to be a long-range sniper. So it's hopefully going to be out of battle um, for the most part. The two big turrets that you see on the top and the bottom of the ship, which we'll probably go through. Is that the ones that are have, white? Yes. Okay. Have a range of 40 kilometers, which I don't think is going to be accurate that long because I don't even think you can see wow. that far. But, I mean, if you had some kind of scout or something like that, I'm sure you could probably. That um, would be really interesting to. I'll bet you, you could do it with a script. Like if you had, like you said, like a scout out there and kind of a laser target sort of thing yes i think though at that range it starts getting into the resolution of the movement of your turret so you're starting yeah. to like go into a grid at that point so you don't but, want to shoot to 40 kilometers but still out at the edge of your visual range that's awesome because you know what they say yes. if you can't see them they can't see you right right and i i have um I've turned on the like floaters that just flow around in the space or whatever and shot at them. And you can definitely one shot anything that comes at you into 10 kilometers. So nice. Very cool. Let's so, get inside this thing and take a look. huh? So let's start at the beginning of the ship. Okay. We do have a, this is kind of most, it, uh, I guess this would be mostly just a, sniper but it does have a small hangar door i like the way that this so you've got almost like this landing strip here yes that's cool. if you notice the shape of the ship almost identically matches the two turrets i didn't even look at the two turrets well okay we'll look at that again when we get to the turrets but that yes. sounds cool it i actually built the turret first um, for a friend who was um, making some video for some friend or whatever. So I built a turret for a tank that he was making or some jazz. And I was like, that kind of looks like a cool looking ship. I feel like you're passing some of the best stuff over here. <laughs> so we do have um, a small hangar bay with uh, hydrogen thrusters. Um, most of the storage is actually... Um, small containers they're right. this is super tight as far as space and i didn't have enough storage to put it in without just filling up the hangar bay so what i did was every time there was supposed to be a conveyor um corner i used a small conveyor a uh, small cargo instead so ah, there's like okay. 76 small containers <laughs> <laughs> wow that's so that's a um, lot of storage and there's a lot of gyros in there. I didn't realize there's multiple rows in there. Yes, I was struggling to find areas to put gyros, so I was putting them in every nick and cranny to be honest. But that looks, when I first that looks designed cool. It, I like that. Well, thanks. Um it is mirrored top and bottom um mm -hmm. pretty pretty much so we can let's go up the stairs and we'll okay. go up to an area that I haven't designated what it actually is supposed to be. Um, 
but that will be our first way into the building, into this uh, ship here. Wow. So to oh, your boy. left, you'll see another hangar bay. Um, I was thinking about putting two fighters. It actually can fit two fighters in here. Inside that uh, glass hall I think, there. I think I lost you. Where'd you go? Oh, you're still back here. Yeah, see? this is... Oh, there's a... I totally walked right past... No, I walked up the stairs. I'm already lost. <laughs> yes. So outside of here, you can see uh, hangar doors. They are one short of actually closing, which saddens me. Oh, but, yeah. Um, I I kind of have an idea to fix that, but for now it's it's fine because it's it will uh, allow you to put stuff in here, and it it's fine. Yeah, and it's it, it very minimum. It's a uh, it's it's um it's defense. You know, it's it's a smaller area for a fire to get in and hit your fighters or whatnot. Correct. I like what you've done with the glass over these tanks here. This is very nice. Well, I had to in order to make it airtight. Oh, cool. Well, it works really well. Like like visually, I like that. Uh, I, I really struggled to get this whole entire area airtight. And for a oh, while yeah. there, there was that one rogue area that I could not for the life of me figure out why. I know that feeling. And that so there is a jump are drive. four jump drives, two on the top, two on the bottom. Um, cause there's again, a room exactly like this mirrored on the bottom and we can actually, we'll go since we've basically toured the front of the ship, we'll go to the bottom of the ship and then go f towards the, uh, so we'll go into this door here and it, you'll see it's essentially the same as the top, just mirrored. Oh, okay. I see that. So now, of course, the glass is on the bottom, and you'll see... Uh... What's in between? Oh, those are just... Okay, those are angled uh, uh, armor blocks. That's yes. Cool. Um, I've really liked trying to... Because I, I form it... I form the shape of it first, and then try to add um, interest by taking away just flat areas so you'll see a lot of that oh, that's a good way to um, that's a good way to come at it I'm, I'm i'm terrible at making ships look good and um and i i like that idea so you're almost kind of doing the uh oh shoot uh there was a there was an artist that said and i i'm not that good with art history either but that said that uh when he wants to make a statue he gets a big piece of marble or something and then he chips off everything that isn't the 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 thing that he's trying uh, that's I'm doing horribly at, at quoting this guy um, but people might we'll know say what I'm his name about. is Costco Michelangelo there you go there you go that sounds yeah. good uh, he's a so he's a ninja is... turtle yeah yeah <laughs> so here is the bottom hanger I need to probably put a button uh, deal down here so people can access it most of this is all controlled from uh, the um, bridge but. So I know that you only have one mod on this entire ship, and it's those guns. That's correct. But if you were going to do a second mod... Um, Glass doors? Yeah. That would just be amazing right here, wouldn't it? Yes. So okay. we'll go into the bowels of the ship. This is a, Oh, it's a vent right there. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, again, I, I really struggle to to find a way to get I like your lighting um, all this in here because I, I start with the shell and then we'll go, go down to some place it doesn't matter too much I'm not sure what to do with this here is the crux of underneath here is all gyros oh wow and there's a lot of <laughs> Oh, cool. Okay, so you can see under this one spot here, you can see all those gyros. Wow. That's a good way to do it, though. 
think there's enough room to make uh, some like cargo or like oh. some rooms for shipmates or whatever in here. I haven't yeah. done that, um, but there is a little bit of room down here. Okay. So um, I haven't really messed with the bottom side of it yet. So this is basement where you bury all your skeletons. So yeah, so that'd be a good there. spot for skeletons down there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and they now have skeletons in the game, so that would. Yeah, be I saw that. I <laughs> was curious. It, the, here's another thing: I was really having a hard time getting enough um, thrusters um, everywhere. So you can see on your right and your left. Um, I, I saw have this. added this internal looks thrusters. So good. It's such an awesome idea. I love it when people put thrusters on the inside you know but even better the fact that you've covered it up with glass and then you've put in these extra armor like ribs in between to kind of break up that area it just it looks really nice it's uh those uh one by two um slants are my friend i use them pretty much everywhere yeah i like those there's all sorts of fun things you can do with that. All right, so let's go up the stairs here. Okay. The only med bay. Oh, crap. Yep. Such a terrible driver. <laughs> That's okay. We have the crew quarters. Um, when they first in introduced these angle uh, LCDs, I couldn't get it to say captain. It actually says captain's quarters, but it just says online, and I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I do know why, because I think there's a spot now that says show text on screen. That's ah! fun. Yep. I am. I am amazing. <laughs> so there's the captain's quarters, and then the, and then the uh, first mate. So they're a little bit upgraded. They've got a their own cryo. Um, chamber and a window to the outside. <laughs> That's all they have. Cryo chamber and a window. Cool. <laughs> yeah, because there's vanilla, so you uh, don't yeah. have any bunk beds or <laughs> toilets or whatever. So that's I mean, okay. Like, that's all you need is a cryo chamber and a window. Like, yeah, I'm I'm sure that's exactly what people say. Like, all give me a cryo chamber and a window, and but no, but seriously, that yeah, for, with vanilla, I really wish they would give us a few more decorative blocks. You know. Yeah. Uh, though I did, I did learn a little trick recently. For if you want to put in like a desk or something, um, if you, I didn't even like. It's just one of those things that just kind of popped into my head one day, and I'm sure everybody else is like, "Well, yeah, obviously." But, um, but if you drop down a small, um, a small landing gear, and then cover it up with small blocks, yeah, that then, would work. Then you can just basically make yourself furniture. That is true, um, and I might do that. And one of these days, you'll be flying along, and that landing gear will just randomly decide to release at 100 meters per second and, and destroy you know, the punch ship. a hole through half your ship. Oh, <laughs> I see. I see. You've got Tim going on here. I do have Tim actually because of you. I ah, yay. <laughs> use automatic ace LCDs, but I like the fact that Tim basically does that for you. Yeah. Um, I haven't really set it up. The If you can find the timer and the program, programmable block, I mm -hmm. will give you an extra couple dollars. Oh, done. Okay, give me a second. You, 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 realize, you realize that you have already lost, right? Yeah, because you can uh, just make it appear uh, <laughs> through the antenna. I could take it off, though. Yeah, I just I just did that. Oh look, uh, there it is. It's uh, it's underneath, it's underneath the stairs down here. Yeah, it's. <laughs> uh, I just found a like random spot basically to to uh, put it and kind of hid it there. Yeah. All right. So will you be sending me my dollar through the mail or? <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, yes. I will. Yes. I just I'll just wait patiently <clears throat> for it. Cough. Cough. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was a little too easy right there. Uh, so what else? What else? We haven't even looked at those guns either. I need to do that. But uh, what's next on the list? Well, I think um, 
Why don't you get in the uh, main co cockpit here? Okay. You should see... Actually, I don't remember what you see on that one, but there should be uh, controls for the bottom and, and oh. uh, top Yeah, uh, okay. These turrets. remote control blocks. Okay. Yes. Um, there are. There is a gyro on each one of the turrets, uh, strategically placed, and it's on two rotors that are uh, basically controlled by that gyro and remote control on the turret okay so t just take control of the top one yeah i've got the and... top one it looks like and oh i see um trying to figure out how to oh okay i thought i had it moving for a second how does work let's see i can kind of get it to Fiddle about a little bit. Okay, let me go oh, to the bottom I got it. one. Wait, it suddenly worked, and I heard a very loud bang. <laughs> oh, we probably it's probably broken. You probably broke it. I probably did. You were the one that said I no, should. No, you're. Get no, you're good. Am I? It's just making I'm loud being noises. Facetious. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It looks like. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh my. Once you start rotating. Stopping it is. I wanted to make it feel like a like a ro like a turret, so it's just not like really super responsive. Okay, I'm out of the seat. Just to make. Just oh, I wonder if I lost it when you were in control there. I'm going to shoot at this asteroid. Is that okay? That's fine with me. Okay. Oh, I have to press the one button, don't I? Yes. Whoa! Okay, that was... Oh, holy cow. It has got one of the largest uh, damaging area of any weapon that I've... I, like, specifically went out and found something that... That is can insane. Do a stupid amount of damage. And now I see why you need the, um, the gyro power decrease. On the yeah. you've got yeah because trying to precision aim with this thing is not easy. Correct. Okay, but when you turn down the gyro power, works great. I think we could pretty quickly and easily um, make a hollow asteroid out of this. Uh, you might. I didn't know if it would do damage to asteroids or not. I, I don't just know. put a crater in this one. Really? Yeah. That's actually pretty amazing. I mean, a very large crater, too. Um, it's a very damaging weapon. There's four of them in each turret. Wow. I, I love the sound of them. The they sound. It sounds powerful. It does. And they are powerful. I thought about if I, I was going to kind of sneakily try to put an MBT in here and then one-shot it with it, <laughs> like a feature. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could have. But you know what? Uh, I think we need to do that. I also want to actually look inside. Wow. Yeah, and so if you you can see It looks that like a railgun. <laughs> they are. Okay. Oh, is it? They that's actually are railguns? Well, no wonder yeah, it looks like a railgun. That's what they call them, uh, railguns. Okay. So here's the camera. Down there, yeah. I could see through there. It is piped into the uh, ship. It has, they have their own assemblers, assemblers, and they have their own remote controls. So um, you can get to the remote through the antennas on both the turrets. Oh, right down the throat. No, I'm going to aim. I'm just going to aim for center of mass. That's what I'm going to do. And goodbye, MBT. Oh, my word. Did it go all the way through? I'm not sure. But man, the sounds from that are amazing, aren't they? It did go all the way through. Yeah. You must have had some stone in there. 
I had lots of different things. Uh, ice. That's that's all ice, ice. floating around from the uh, oxygen generators. Yeah, there's not a lot left of the MBT here. But yeah, that, those are quite the weapon. That's for sure. And then you, so you lock it into place using these um, connectors. Yes. Ah, that's a good idea. Okay. Uh, I did merge blocks and it uh, merge blocks like really jack things up. So yeah, connectors I, are the way to go. I, I've found that the, the thing that causes problems with merge blocks is when you have a loop. So, and th and this would be a loop like that, where you've got a um, where you've got a grid connected to another grid, mm -hmm. and then you merge block those two grids together. It does weird and bad things. Sometimes crashes the game. Sometimes makes everything explode in a shower of parts. <laughs> yeah. I'm just flying around looking at all kinds of things. Oh, I see you have more gyros. And we haven't actually flown this ship yet. I think that might be necessary at some point. Have we missed anything? I don't think so. I, I am kind of proud of the, the way that the opening, the front hangar bay uh, opens. Um, I have a question for you. Yes. I am, oh, I don't have a question for you. That's brilliant. Okay, so I'm at, I'm behind the bridge looking at your up-facing thrusters and I came at them from an angle that made them look like they were pointing directly into the ceiling. And um, and then I flew up to the top and realized that you just have a very nice... It actually... Like, I did some ex experiments and that does not damage... Yeah those blocks yeah only only the center block is damaged um by default and then if there was a block there it could damage the blocks neighboring it but um but since there isn't it's not an issue but i like the way you've done that using just these um double angle parts and uh what do they call them the double slope um backs and that kind of thing that's really nice well, I, I appreciate it, and you can see I've got gyros on the outside. I, I, you got I was gyros so, everywhere. <laughs> well, because they're hidden in all kinds of tiny little areas, because I <laughs> needed that many gyros just to get it to maneuver. It is not super maneuverable, but it's also, you know, like I said, it's kind it's of like a gas, a glass be. cannon yeah. type. It's supposed to be at range. I've got jump drives on here specifically for if somebody were to get close, you just kind of jump away and then start firing at them again. Oh, yeah, good point. If they get within range, you just jump out of there and yeah, and you, you jump 10 kilometers away, turn around and start shooting at them again. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's horrible. And then you've got a fair amount of up close, I mean, quite a few, uh, looks like missile turrets and... I don't see any Gatlings. No, and um, that, believe it or not, was probably the hardest thing I've ever done in Space Engineers is to get all of these guys connected to um, the ship as far oh, as yeah. uh, tubing. Because there's, and I'm not being, I'm not exaggerating at all, there's absolutely no room for anything <laughs> um, if you find a, an extra little spot somewhere that's not filled with gyros or connectors, um, you know, you <laughs> are, are you going to give me another dollar that will be sent to me through the mail someday? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I see a so place where you, you can put can, a gyro. You can, well, <laughs> you probably could put some gyros here on the bridge. Uh, all right, I'm going to fly this thing. Go for it. Um, I would recommend no. probably uh, redoing nope. your uh, nope, turret. Nope, not going to do that. Okay. It is a lot more fun to think, see things explode. Okay. <laughs> I I don't know. You I like physics experiments. Not, actually. And the great thing about this is it's going to hit the bridge, and let's see. No, it shouldn't where it's at. Oh, interesting. It doesn't. So at oh, an it angle, doesn't... it will, but... Um... Okay. Oh, that's not bad at all. I thought it was going to actually 
take the bridge out when it rotated, but only if it's up, and then even then, it really wouldn't do that much damage. Well, this thing actually rotates really well for something its size, though. I mean, you, those gyros are doing their jobs. Yes. I want to say there's a thousand. A thousand gyros? I want to say there's a thousand. That doesn't seem possible. Actually, there, there's a way to find out. There, I think there is. I think there's pretty close to a thousand. Did you say you have... Um, no, 700. I think there's 700. Is there 700? Did you say that you have um, automatic LCDs installed? I don't. Because you don't. Tim okay. basically just okay. takes care of that. Automatic LCDs has a, uh, a type count capability. So you can actually no. have it tell you exactly how many of something you have like that. But that's okay. Actually, doesn't... Um, you know what? There it's are 932. The okay. Because yeah. I just remembered it's right on the HUD. It's in the lower right-hand corner right above fuel time. Yeah, I was going to say it's pretty close to 1,000. 932 gyroscopes, 124 thrusters, 2.4 gigawatts of reactor power. <laughs> That's There's awesome. 10 large reactors. And the acceleration for a ship this size is also it's not, not, not too bad. shabby. Yeah. And let's see. Stopping time. If I rotate. Ah. Let's see if we can finish off the uh, the MBT. Let me control the bottom one while Aww. you're controlling it. I heard it fire. Yeah, I can fire it. Well, there's a couple of thrusters left. And a little tiny piece of my decoy at the top. Uh, your decoy didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was manually controlled, so, you know. Yeah. That's true. understandable. And and a piece of something that may have one been one time been part of the MBT, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> well, I think that, unless you have something else that you wanted to show off, is a great place to end it. Uh no, I think we're I think we're good. All right, and this is available up on the Steam Workshop as well as the one mod necessary for those cannons, and um, I highly recommend taking a look at this ship. This is a beautiful ship with some really impressive um, and interesting design elements that I like a lot, and I might be implementing in some of my designs in the future. So give it a look. It's the um, what is what is it the something huntsman um, S M D. You can put ever whatever you want. It can okay. be this silly marine department if you want. I like that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> the so the S M D huntsman by Elo, and that is the correct way to pronounce it, right? That is correct. Actually, a lot of people good. put it uh, something else. So I'm impressed that you put Elo. Well, I um, actually saw you describing how, to somebody else how to pronounce it, so oh, I kind of cheated yeah. there. But um, but yeah, at first I, I thought it was Yolo or something like that. Um, but uh, Elo, okay. Thank you again for joining me. This was a lot of fun. And, w and once again, another beautiful ship by somebody in our community, which is just awesome to see. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you, Epic, for – this is a great idea. I love the fact that um, you can bring people in and tour their ships, their creations, whether it's uh, a couple of blocks or it's a couple thousand blocks. And uh, that's part of what Space Engineers is all about is, is being creative and, and being able to do that. So I appreciate the time that you've taken to to look over my ship and uh, – uh, yeah, so thank you. 
Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to have your ship toured, um, there is a link in the description below for the Discord channel. And there's a, uh, or the the Discord server, I always get those mixed up. And uh, on that server, there is a ship tours channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Go ahead and go down into the comments and say some nice things to Elo about his ship. And, um, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I come out with these videos quite regularly. And as always, I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.